whether they go to school or not. You encourage them, you are by them, by their side. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you a good father like this father? Praise the Lord. Yes. Telling the child, telling the child, or telling the son, you must know this father because this father is better than your father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, Solomon, my son, I charge you to know him. Amen. Don't know me. I'm about to die. I'm about to finish. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Of all the things that he can hand over yes. to the son, of all the things he can give to the son, he said, I charge you to know your father's God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if there is a message here this morning, I want to challenge you fathers. Hallelujah. Some fathers, they drink all night. Some fathers, they, they go out and become a father to other fathers. Or become a father to other people. But you forget about your sons and your daughters. Yeah. You never provide for them. You never give them the right thing. You can provide silver and gold and house and car. But the real thing is what Solomon, what David is saying. You must remember your father's God. Because this father is a wonderful father. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he said, even if I go through the valley of death, I fear nothing. Because my father is with me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I, I have only one son. I have three daughters. One is 26. One daughter is 23. My youngest daughter is 19. And my only son is 16. Hallelujah. Most of the time I go out in the village when he was grow up 10 years ago. I preach here, preach there, preach everywhere. Hallelujah. And most of the time, he was growing up without the father. But I thank the Lord, there is a father that father me and father my son. And his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. I was uh, invited to preach in Australia. And my daughter was schooling in Wesley College in Pukekoe in Auckland. And uh, my daughter said, Dad, my school fees is about to due. Hallelujah. It, it will be due next week or next two weeks. At that time, I received an invitation to go and preach in Australia. And I see my fare going up and coming down. And that is exactly the same amount as her school fees in, in New Zealand. Now I was praying whether to pay the school fees or to go for the invitation to preach to people. Amen. They are not New Methodist Christian Fellowship. They are Assemblies of God. And they already invite other churches to come. Hallelujah. And I was thinking whether to pay my daughter's school fees or to go to, New, uh, to Australia. Hallelujah. As another week drawn near, and comes to six days and five days and I was praying and asking God hallelujah whether to pay for my daughter's school fees or go and do my father's work hallelujah and two days before to pay for the school fees or to go to Australia the Lord confirmed to me seek ye first the kingdom of God Amen. so I arranged my travel and I have to go to Australia. Hallelujah. When I was in Australia, I spent three, four days preaching and teaching. And my daughter called from New Zealand. Then, on Monday, she called on Friday. On Monday, 10 o'clock, if I don't pay my school fees, they will release me from the school. And I have to go back to Fiji. And she told me, Dad, remember, I am the head girl. It'll be not good for a head girl to be sent home because of the school fees not paid. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they all know that my daughter, schooling there, that her father is a preacher. Her father is a reverend. Her father always go about talking about God. Amen. Are you a good father? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if you're really a good father, you'll tell your children 
the things about God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So it was a testimony. I preached in the church in Australia at 6 o'clock in the evening. And everything was done. All the preaching for the five days or three days was all finished. Now I have to face the school fees of my daughter. Not two days, not three days, next day. It was Sunday 6 p.m. We finished church at 8 p.m. And I was thinking about my daughter's school fees. Hallelujah. We finished the church. I was sitting down. And they about to call for tea. Then a lady woke up and come to the pastor. Can I say something? And the pastor said, okay, this is the mic. You can say it. A lot of people there. And she said, the Lord burdened my heart. That the pastor we invited in Fiji, from Fiji, he did something financially. The Lord spoke to me. Can we have the offering plate? Hallelujah. They did the offering and came to about 3,500 Australians. Hallelujah. The next day, I wired the money from Sydney to Auckland. Are you a good father? Amen. Or you just busy of the things of this world? You just busy about your food? You just busy about your clothes? You just busy about your children? You just busy about the physical things? And you're not busy about the things of God? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a lot of testimonies. Testimonies after testimonies. And I start to realize this is the best father of all the fathers. Because the Bible says in Psalm 27, 10, He is the father to those that does not have any father. Amen. Praise the Lord. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, who is your father? We celebrate Father's Day. We prepare the food to our father. And we make them eat and they sleep. Hallelujah. What about we serve the Father of all the fathers? Amen. What about we honor Him? Hallelujah. Because He is the Father of all the fathers. Amen. And my daughter in New Zealand at that time, 18 year old girl, she's a pilot today because she witnessed my trust in God. Amen. She's not only a pilot, she's also a pastor at the moment. She passed the young people, the mission team, the mission girls, which is about 35 girls. Hallelujah. She's not only a pilot, she's also a pastor. Why? Because her father, not her father, her father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When she was in Wesley College, she was always invited to speak in the church. The Reverend Atonan Lady because of her, her character, because her lifestyle. She always preach on Sunday. What about us someone that we are here? Do we teach our children to know God? Do we teach our children to have sin for God? Because if, if not, then you are not a good father, you are not a good father. David said, Solomon my son, I charge you to know him. Amen. Not me, him. Maybe I'm a king. Maybe I have people. Maybe I'm a powerful man. Maybe I'm a wonderful man. But Solomon, you must know your father's God. Because he is a real father. Give a hand clap to the real father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I remember in 2009 we have a conference in the National Stadium in Shuba. In the National Stadium in Shuba, we have our conference. We, when we have our conference, there is no building in Fiji can cater for our members. So we hire the National Stadium where they play rugby. Hallelujah. The city is 8,000. Hallelujah. But people will fill up the stadium and they fill up the park. Hallelujah. And come to the fifth day of our conference, I start to calculate the amount to pay. It comes to about $26,000 for the conference to pay for the stadium and the light. Hallelujah. I don't have any money. 
I never charge the congregation to bring money. We never go out any day. We, we never do any fundraising. We never do any go on the streets, car wash, barbecue selling. Our DVD is free. 600 DVD every week times 52. You can imagine. Hallelujah. Because I rely on a father. Amen. I'm speaking like this because I know him. I know my father. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed to talk about him. Amen. Anywhere, any denomination, any race, it doesn't really matter. My father is the father to everyone. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me finish, finish with the conference and the bill came from Fiji Sports Council and the total amount is $26,000 of the charge of the stadium to be used. Hallelujah. Then somebody called. He's wearing $100,000. The Lord spoke to him in Australia to send me $100,000. He's my father. And if you're sitting here and you are faced with poverty and lack, you are not relying on your father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you rely on the church. Maybe you rely on your mind. If this father provides the fish in the sea, if this father provides the heater and the sun and the light, why are we afraid? Why are we are ashamed? Amen. When we have a connection with him, he will provide. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now you want to listen to my father? Amen. Coming, to, see, coming to church, you will not, you will never know him. It's your quiet time. Every Sunday we see Fijians, Samoans, Tongans. Every Sunday they run to church. Every Sunday they run to church. We should run to God. Hallelujah. And our young people will never go to church if they see that there is no manifestation. Hallelujah. They check the fridge, it's empty. There is no manifestation of the power of God in our home. Hallelujah. Because when we serve this Father, He can be there with us in the field when we are stuck, when we have no money, when there is argument at home, the Father of all the fathers will be there. Amen. That's why He said, even if I go through the valley of death, huh? valley of death, where death is in front of me, I fear no evil. Because my Father is with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I start to go around in Fiji. Hallelujah. I start to go around in Fiji in the interior, so I need a four-wheel drive. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 2008, one guy playing, one rugby player, is faster than Pesamino. <laughs> and his salary for three years is millions. He gave me one twin care, Hilux twin care. He said, Pastor, you take this uh, twin cap and use it for you to go into to the ministry work. I can't buy I can't buy a twin cap. Hallelujah. I'm not paid as a general superintendent. He's not paid as a senior sir, pastor. Why? Because we don't rely on the money. We rely on God. Hallelujah. Up till today I'm not paid as a general superintendent. I don't take tithe from people. The tithe is to run the church. The tithe is to use for evangelism. The tithe is to pay for the radio. And pastor, how can you eat? My father. How can you drink? My father. I can't preach about my father and he does not provide. When I preach about him, he provides. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that rugby player is still in Fiji today. He just came last week. His twin cap is at home. He came and have a rental car. Because he already gave the twin cap to me. Hallelujah. Not only that, another rugby player also playing in France. 
He came, he said, I'm a good guy. Nisar Nabala. I lost Toyota. Nisar Nabala. Two good guys at home right now. My father. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Last testimony before we start our preaching. I was flying from Heathrow to Dallas, Los Angeles, and to Nandi. We came to Dallas and the airplane developed a, a mechanical problem. So we delayed for three hours in Dallas, Texas. Hallelujah. By the time the airplane was fixed, and they said our arrival time is in Los Angeles, we will miss the Air Pacific from Los Angeles to Nandi. Hallelujah. I was invited to come and preach in Suva on Sunday, Monday to go back to England. And if I miss that plane and catch the other plane, I will arrive on Monday. So my going to Heathrow, London, back to Fiji and going back will be of nothing because I miss the Sunday service. If I miss the plane in Los Angeles, and when he get into the plane, I sit uh, maybe two rows from the back and I start to pray. Father, you own the plane. You own the sky. You created the wind. I ask you, Father, please arrange for my connection. According to the time that we arrive, we'll arrive there at 10.30. And the plane leaves at 10 o'clock. So 30 minutes late already. And I have to go through customs and get my bag and run to another terminal, which is about five or 600 meters away. If I get off the plane, get my bag and run for about 600 meters, I will already late because the time is already late. I'm saying this because sometimes we come to church. You are coming to church. You come and sleep in church. You come and pray in church. Amen. That's why God is not meeting you. Amen. I have to speak to somebody this, this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because this is the way I preach to our leaders. This is the way I preach to the congregation. So they can become a powerful man of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I continue to pray. Pray. Pray, pray. When we take off from Dallas into Los Angeles, the captain said, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain speaking. I know we are already late, but I'll do to the best of my ability that some of you will catch their connection. Hallelujah. I was praying at the back. The pilot is right in front. But my father tells him what to do. Hallelujah. I worked with the Pacific 17 years. And the last five years I was the uh, operation manager of Air Pacific. I know the calculation and I know the movement of all aircraft. Hallelujah. And he said, our arrival time, when we were midway from Dallas to Los Angeles, he said, our arrival time into Los Angeles now is about 9.30. Hallelujah. We catch up about one hour in the air. The plane in Los Angeles will leave at 10 o'clock. Now we are arriving at 9.30. Before we depart, we will arrive at 10.30. Now, because of the favorous, the favorite weather condition and the tailwind, that means the, the wind that blowing from the back and push the airplane even faster. Hallelujah. My father owns the wind. Praise the Lord. I arrived into Los Angeles 9.30, 9.45, I get out from the terminal and I have to run to another terminal. I arrived there, hallelujah, about 10 minutes to 10 o'clock, departure time. It's already close. I look around and this lady, a Tongan lady, working in the airport, I said, are you Pastor Atu? I said, yes. This is your boarding pass. Go straight to the plane. It's waiting for you. The father of all the fathers. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, he's the father of everyone. 
And this father sees your problem. This father sees what you're facing at home. This father knows maybe some arguments with your wife or with your husband. He knows. Why? Three things I want to share this morning. Number one, he is our real father because he's everywhere. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when we are children, we always want our father to be around. It's a sense of security. When we want something, then how do we call father in Samoa? Tama. 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 Bicycle. Tama. Trousers. Tama. Shirt. When your father is not there, where else to turn? The father of all the fathers is always there. When there is no food in the cupboard, he is there. When there is no money in the wallet, he is there. It's just like our physical father. When children have their father around, they have security. They can, they are, they are proud, they, 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 they are secured. Why? Because their father is around. Amen. Most of the time when our father is not there, we miss them. When we are stuck, where to turn to? Our father is not here. And David is telling his son, Solomon, my son, you must know. Your father's of your Because David, your dad, is about to go to where all my ancestors belong. But this father will remain with you forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want to challenge us today, brothers and sisters that you are here, and especially the fathers that we are. What are we telling our children? Maybe some of the children that they are growing up and they are they have no physical father. Amen. And they will face that, uh, that vacuum. They will face that emptiness. Amen. They are loneliness within him when they are growing up. Amen. They need to know that there is a father to the fatherless. Amen. They need to know that the father in heaven. Jesus said, when you pray, say like this, Our Father, yes. hallowed be thy name. Amen. Hallelujah. He did not say, when you pray, say, mighty God. No, no. He said, when you pray, say, yes. my Father. Yes. We are praying to our Father. Of course, He's God. But our relationship is our Father. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, do you speak to your Father? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I've seen a lot of things uh, similar with the, the people in Lao, where I come from and the people in Tonga, and the people in Samoa. Hallelujah. When somebody died, we go and speak in the, in the tomb. Hey, he's dead. Amen. It's just like this. It's a snake. It's a thing. The soul is gone. Amen. The Bible says, he is absent from the body, and his presence in the Lord. Yes. It's just like a flower. It's a thing. And we decorate the tomb. We decorate the cemetery. Hey, it's gone, finished. No more connection. Amen. Because we are the people of this world, physical. We don't want to let them go. We want to hold on. We build one small house and we put a diamonds and rings in memorial of Tupupo. <laughs> Passed away 5th of December 2009. Always remember. Yeah, always remember in our mind. Not there. Every month we go there, put up nice clothes, put up nice dress, put up. Even some people, they put the light. Light for what? There's nobody there. Soil to soil, sand to sand, and dust to dust. Finish. We have a father that is alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, Amen. Amen. He's there every time, all the time. When you pass away, this father still remains. Hallelujah. That's why David told Solomon, Solomon, my son, you must remember, you must know, 
I charge you to know your father's God. I don't know what you're going through, my friend. I don't know. Maybe some of us, we lost our fathers at a very young age. Maybe some of us, we lost our fathers because of a, a family problem. I want to tell you, we have a father in heaven. And wipe away the tears on our children. And put the umbrella over us wherever we go. Even in the deepest valley, he's there. In the top of the mountain, he's there. Everywhere you go, he's there. Because his name is Joe Shama, the God of everyone. Give a hand clap to the Lord. Amen. Number two. He's not only a father that is everywhere, is with us every time. He's also a father that, that gives us our strength. Amen. We are in this world fighting demonic spirit. The Bible says you are not fighting against flesh and blood. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6, the Bible says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Amen. We are fighting against principalities. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. And all the bad angels around heavenly places. That are the thing that we are fighting against. Amen. And when we have our Father strengthen us. Hallelujah. When we get weak, He's come and strengthen us. Yes. When we are tired, He's there to lift us. Hallelujah. He's our Father. Amen. He gives us strength. Hallelujah. The Bible says, young men, the Bible says, we will get weary. We will get tired. But the Bible says in Isaiah 14, but for those that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run. They shall walk. And will not get tired or weary. Because we have our strength from the Lord. Amen. Your strength is not from the food. The Bible says, man does not live on bread alone. But every word that comes from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give a hand clap to the Lord somebody. And I want to challenge us today. Where is your strength? The reason why you're weak in serving God. You come to church, you are weak in serving God. Why? Because you don't rely on God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sometimes I'll be in Fiji in one week. I'll have three Bible study in the morning, in the daytime, and crusade at night. Monday to Sunday. Preaching and sharing and preaching and sharing. At night time, crusade. Where I get my strength from? My body is weary. My muscle is tired. I want to sleep. I want to rest. Hallelujah. But whenever I stand up, I feel the strength. Hallelujah. 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 Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, don't get tired and, go, and don't go to sleep. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, don't get tired and don't go to sleep. Hallelujah. The reason why you're sleeping, the reason why you're tired, because you don't wake up on the morning. You wake up this morning, you want to have your breakfast. You wake up this morning, you never read the Bible. You wake up this morning, you never pray. You wake up this morning, you never think about God. You just think about yourself. That's why you're tired when you come to church. That's why you are off when you come to church. Don't be your neighbor, you off or on? You off or on? Tell your neighbor, are you off or are you on? Because most of the time we are off when we come here. We are tired when we come here. There's nothing coming from God to us because we are off. Slap somebody, are you must on. Continue to get on. switch for this light. Can you just off the light? See, it's off. Tell your neighbor, are you off or on? Are you off? On again, on again. Ask your neighbor, are you off or on? Hallelujah. Oh, handshake to somebody, handshake to somebody. Handshake to somebody and tell that somebody, you look wonderful because you are on. When you are on, you look wonderful. The smiling face. The beautiful face that you have. Oh, glory to the name of God. That is the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When we come to the church of the living God, when we are on, everything is excited, everything is good, and we feel excited about the things of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am looking forward to tour tonight. Praise the Lord. And after tonight, hallelujah, then I'll have rest. And I fly to Upolo. And from Upolo, I fly to Nandi. Because when I'm arrived to Nandi, I'll go to another crusade in another, another island. Hallelujah. So my rest time is the time that I get into the plane. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, are you on? Or are you off? <laughs> Don't off on. Don't get off on because the power will, uh, the power will get burned. When you on, you on. When you off, get out of the church. Go and have your lunch. You can go and have your lunch now. We can have our lunch later because we are on in the Lord. When we are on in the Lord, we can have our lunch later. But if you are off, go and have lunch and then you come back. Hallelujah. If not, bring your lunch with me. When you off, go outside, eat and come back. It will make you even more off. But when you stay in the church, hallelujah, and you get excited in the things of God, when you are on, you will be more on, and you will be more brighter, more energy, more excitement. You will love staying in church. You will love to clap. You will love to jump. You will love to dance. Hallelujah. Our strength comes from the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, number three and the last one. He is our resource. Not only He is with us every day, not only is our strength, but also our resources. So you mean, the Lord is my resource. The Lord is my resource. He is my bank. He is my bank. He is my kitchen. He is my kitchen. And He is my bedroom. He is my bedroom. All come from my Father. No wonder they would say, Solomon, my son, I charge you to know your father's God. Amen. Hallelujah. I charge you. I command you. I order you to know your father's God. Because if you go in the valley of death, you will fear nothing like me. Because our father is there. He is our resource. He will supply the people. He will supply the money. He will supply the resource. He will supply the food. He will supply the things that we are so because he is our resource the Bible says if you are in me and my word in you whatever you ask in my name I shall be given to you Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. but first I've been praying yeah you can pray but the word of God is not in you the Bible says in John chapter 14 verse 16 if you abide in me and my word is abide in you Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, whatever you ask in His name. Say with me, abide in His word. Abide in His word. Say with me, abide in His word. Abide in His word. Pastor, what is the meaning of abide in His word? That means we are living His word. We live on His word. Like this is His word. And you are walking on His word. You are walking on His word. You are walking on His word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't fall because you are walking on His word. Hallelujah. It seems like you will fall. And people say that you will fall. And people will test you to fall. But you can't fall because you are abide by His word. His word is the power. His word is the strength. The power in His word will strengthen you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I resign from my work. Hallelujah. And my, my house to be paid off, $59,000 to be paid off, I resign. Abide in His Word. And He will meet my resources. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One year later after my resigning, I received a donation to complete my... Somebody said, the Lord spoke to them to pay off my house. I pay off my house, $59,000, and that man said, build another house next to your house. It's my resource. I worked with Air Pacific for 17 years. I worked with the air traffic control for 8 years. 17 plus 8 equals 25 years. I can't even cash a car. But when I work in the Lord, it's my resource. At the moment I have a van. 
Alléluia. Tout tout cap, les left it with me. Tout Toyota. Alléluia. Kijan. And one Toyota Camry. And one Toyota G Touring. Five trucks three down. I never pay much. It's already paid. Give it to me free. Amen. One mini bus. Hallelujah. And somebody bought us another twin cap to make it three twin cap. Sixty-three thousand dollars, Peter. It's my wishes. I paid the radio station in Fiji ten thousand dollars a month before they stop it because all the churches. They are getting empty because they just want to listen to the preaching on the radio at 9 o'clock. And most of, the, most of the church people, they go to the government and they complain to the government that their church are getting empty. Everybody wants to listen to the radio preaching. Now I'm in Pamo Pamo. I'm paying a radio station in Pamo Pamo. Paying a radio station in Tonga. Praise the Lord. A television station in Tonga. It's my resource. Yes. We never go out on the street and sell barbecue. We never do fundraising. He's a resource. If the church is the church of the living God, he's pro he will provide. His name is Sarah. Unless if we have different ideas inside, only God knows. And if your heart is pure, we will see the hands of God move. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And my prayer tonight, uh, today, that you should uh, get deeper into the relationship with your father of all the fathers. Get deep into that relationship. Don't just come and waste time in a church service. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't waste time in a church service. That carnal, that physical. Get deep into the relationship with God. Your prayer life. Reading the word. Hallelujah. Even when you drive around, think about him. Always think about him. Amen. Don't drive around, think about the restaurant, think about the barbecue, think, think about the, the puaka and the size two. Amen. Talk about the things of God. <laughs> smile to your neighbor, smile to your neighbor. Any size two at home? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I, I don't eat pork. But last night, yesterday, I tasted a little bit of pork. I don't eat pork. I eat bacon, but I don't eat pork that is cooked. Hallelujah. I don't know why. Hallelujah. Because I have a lot of pigs at home when I was small, but I normally eat their intestine when they curry and put chili. I like that. But the, the flesh, normally it's, I don't know, but I don't, I, I don't eat it. But yesterday, the flesh was really nice and brown because of the stone in the umu. So I taste, really taste nice. Hello. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, your resource is Him. Resource. Your resource is Him. See, don't ever try to rely on the money. Because the Bible says, when you love the money, it's become a root of all evil. Amen. Loving money is the root of all evil. Amen. And yet churches today, we went up yesterday, a lot of churches doing uh, fundraising here and there. They should go to their church and pray. We're spending too much time looking for money. We should look for God. Amen. Because when we have God, we have everything. Amen. He is my everything. He is my all. Oh, that song is wrong. No, it's right. It's true. It's us that we are false. We are hypocrites. We are saying that he's Jehovah Jireh. And we go and oh, cow us to get the money. And we are saying that Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh provides. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are police, go and do your police work, but don't rely on the police work. Rely on God. If you are a lawyer, if you are a teacher, or if you work in the government, go and do your work, but don't rely on your work. You rely on God. The Father to the fatherless. The Father to all the fathers. At this point, I want to challenge the church. I want to challenge us. We must rely on Him. We don't rely on our knowledge. We don't rely on what we know. We don't rely on our wisdom. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25 and 26, the foolishness of God is still wiser than the wisdom of men. And the weakness of God is still stronger.
Father, than the state of man. Hallelujah. All our degree, all our diplomas, all the doctors and the professor is the foolishness of God according to God. Not because I don't have a degree. Hallelujah. But I will not rely on my degree. Yes. Not because I've known a lot of things during my working time. I, am, I was a manager. I recruit flight attendant into Air Pacific for five years. I recruit flight attendant. But I never rely on my knowledge. I never rely on the things of the, this world. I rely. Can you just lift up your right hand and say with me, God, you are my Father. You are with me everywhere. You are the source of my strength. And you are my resource. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, we just want to take this time to thank you. We praise your mighty name. We thank you that you are speaking to the fathers, how we fathers our children, for them to rely on you. That you are the fathers of all the fathers, and you are also the father to the fatherless. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity to share and encourage people around us. We thank you for the people that are listening this morning, that will continue to rely on you, the father of heaven and the father on earth. We thank you for the strength, we thank you for the anointing, we thank you for the resources, we thank you for your ever presence in our life. The three things that we said this morning, that you are Jehovah Shammah, you are everywhere in us. And you are our strength, that you give us strength when you are weak and push aside. And also you are our resources, you give us the thing that we lack. No wonder your word says, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. I thank you this morning, Father God. Thank you for the people that are listening to your sermon. Thank you the power of the word will yes. convict them and lift them up. We thank you, Father God, for the anointing this morning. Amen. But we must always remember not to forget the praise, the honor to be yours and yours alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. At this time, uh, time for prayer for the blessing. I got to uh, please, uh, Reverend Atu, into the prayer please for, for the mothers, for the blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we come before you. We pray for all the fathers in the various families. We thank you, Father, that you give long life, Amen. wisdom, open doors, encouragement. We pray, Father God, that uh, they will continue to Amen. serve you, you and be faithful and loyal to you, Alleluia. Lord. Alleluia. Because our resources come from you, our strengths come from you, our wisdom and our knowledge comes from you. Father God, for them not to look to the left and not to look to the right, I pray blessings over their life. I pray blessings over their children. I pray blessings over their home. I pray blessing whatever they do. And if they go in, they will be blessed. They will come out, they will be blessed. They will go into the field, they will be blessed. Wherever they go, I pray for the blessings of God in their life in this wonderful time. Father, I pray that you will continue to focus on you. According to your word says, fix your eyes on Jesus because he's the author and the perfecter of our faith. I pray, Father, that all these fathers will continue to focus on you because you are the author and you are the perfecter of their faith. You will encourage them and guide them and lead them in whatever areas of their life and whatever storm that will come their way, whatever problems will come their way, whatever mountain will come their way, whatever temptation will come their way, they will be strong because they are strong, Father, yes. in the Lord. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for your wisdom and knowledge and understanding yes. into their life right now. I pray blessings from the crown of their head, from the, their head right to the sole of their feet. I pray blessings into their body, healing into their body, understanding into their body, and the strength in their body in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, 
God for this morning. We thank you for a show of blessings. Let them pour into their family, you pour into their children, you pour into their marriage, you pour into their wife. We thank you, Father. We receive your anointing this morning in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And everyone say, Amen. Amen. Ya awali sunga faalta kunenga wena sunga ya reven era menya mali mato sanya na melopa pamani atu ya sasa mango one Thank you Father Thank you Reven Atunaisa ulaono Thank you for the preach for the word of God for this morning for the Father's day This uh, envelope Oh, prepare the, the women fellowship for you. Happy Father's Day. Amen. Amen. Um, Reverend Wesley. 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 La Fai, Yele Tama Papa, Panti Scanlan, Yes, and why would I come and put a late I am and soon I play soon I have a hang out to Hina, ya, no postal mona, ya, my Tama Omaya, ya, postal mona. Ya, aku tak jarang banyak sama. Uh, Amen. And we are blessed for this uh, last uh, two days. Amen. Uh, Reverend Mene, how you feel about uh, uh, Father's Day today? I feel in the, in the presence of God for the, the world treats the, uh, the priest today. I feel in the spirit of God. So happy. And a uh, very great message. Uh, uh, Genesis will be generous for sale for the, for the Father's Day. All Hallelujah. the fathers, all Amen. fathers members, and all the fathers in my church. Amen. Thank God, thank, thank you God for the for the anointing. Thank you God for the, the powerful great for give the general superintendent for preach the word of God. And, and you, Pastor Wise? No, just no. for Reverend Manny to right. know your father. Amen. Know your father. Yeah, I know this. This is a great father. Amen. That is my father. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you too. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, everybody come up here and say, wow, you're very expensive. You. <laughs> yeah, belongs to a pastor's wife, a son, a land. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Shall we go? That's pastor. It's pastor and the wife. Pula! Pula! <laughs> ah, little. Bit. Praise the Lord. Gong and Donna and Delan and Donna Bolini Lutu, a Pangopango America Samoa, or Natomba or America, Kelly Kelly Niwanga, and Abunatatikonakalu and Abuni Nona. Bebarutaki kwa mbulia na kaki.